separate the cable gland into four components by loosening assembly A from assembly B. Assembly A Braid armor cone Anyway clamping ring and assembly B. It is not necessary to dismantle the gland any further. If required, cut the shroud to suit the cable diameter, then pass the shroud over the outer sheath. Pass assembly B out the seal nut first, over the cable followed by the anyway clamping ring. The anyway clamping ring cannot be installed incorrectly. If required, an entry thread seal should be fitted over the gland entry threads at this stage. Tighten assembly A into the equipment with a spanner. Determine the conductor length that will be required to suit the equipment geometry and carefully remove the outer sheath and any tapes that are present. This will leave the braid armor exposed. Measure and mark the required braid length. This will vary depending upon the size of the gland being installed. Braid lengths are shown in the fitting instructions. Loosen the braiding by first pulling the ends away from the inner sheath and pushing gently down the cable. Cut the braid to the required length, taking care to ensure the braid formation remains intact. Removal of the braiding will leave the cable inner sheath exposed. Any tapes around the inner sheath must also be removed to ensure the seal is in direct contact with the cable sheath. Insert cone into assembly A. Insert the cable into assembly A, ensuring that the armour is evenly spaced around the cone. Trim any loose strands of braid and ensure the braid armour is spread evenly around the cone. Whilst pushing the cable gently forward to maintain contact between the armour and the armour cone, Hand tighten the second item on assembly A until a heavy resistance is achieved, then tighten a further full turn with a spanner. Pass the anyway clamping ring and subassembly B up the cable. Hold the main item on subassembly A with a spanner and tighten the body of subassembly B until metal to metal contact is made. Use a spanner to loosen assembly B from assembly A. Once disconnected, it should be possible to see that the armour is securely clamped between the anyway clamping ring and the armour cone. If necessary, retrim the braid armour. Hand tighten assembly B into assembly A. Using a spanner to hold the entry component of assembly A, tighten the body of assembly B until metal to metal contact is made. Finally tighten the outer seal housing with a spanner until the seal has clearly formed around the cable and cannot be further tightened without the use of excessive force or until the outer seal nut and body are metal to metal. The body should be secured with a spanner during tightening. If required, pass the shroud up the cable and position around the gland.